This is Dr. Mahesh Goenka. I am the director of gastroenterology and liver diseases at Apollo Multi Specialty Hospital, Kolkata. Today we are going to talk about non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is commonest ailment which can affect the human being. It is estimated that almost 25 to 30 percent of the population, including Indian population, suffer from non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Fat can accumulate in the liver because of alcohol, because of drugs, but when in absence of them, fat accumulates in the liver, it is called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. In some segment of individuals, known as metabolic syndrome, which consists of diabetes, obesity, hypertension, abnormal cholesterol, the fatty liver disease can be present in as many as 50 to 60% of the individuals. That means one out of two individuals with these disorders can have fatty liver disease. Fatty liver disease is no more considered to be a benign disease. It can progress to hepatitis, to cirrhosis, and in some cases to cancers of the liver. Unfortunately, in the initial stages, fatty liver disease is asymptomatic and a suspicion of fatty liver disease will only come when an ultrasound done routinely shows evidence of fatty liver or liver function test shows some abnormality. The diagnosis can then be confirmed by advanced test which can be either MRI based or by liver biopsy. Once a diagnosis of fatty liver disease is made, these individuals should be treated by lifestyle modification which will include dietary restriction, exercise, and these two should lead to weight loss. It is estimated that a weight loss of as low as 10% can reverse fatty liver disease even when it's gone into that stage of fibrosis. There are a few drugs available to treat and reverse the fatty liver disease as well. So there has been a paradigm shift in our understanding of fatty liver disease in the last one or two decades we now know that it is no more to be considered as a very benign disease can it progress in a small but definite percentage of patients to very serious disorders.